please the President of Ireland and Sabina Higgins. I want to introduce you to, to, to you this evening, Michael D. Higgins, the ninth President of Ireland. President Higgins, he is a politician who has served at all levels. He has been a mayor, he has been a senator, he has been a TD. He has been the Minister for Arts, Heritage, Culture and the Gael Club. He is an academic, he is a writer, he is a poet. He has written on subjects as prolific, as, as diverse and prolific as sociology, politics, history and the arts. He is a statesman, the recipient of the Sean McBride Peace Prize. He is a man of compassion and intellect. He is an inspirational leader. He is a man of our times. I give you the ninth President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. <laughs> May I, as I have in all of the speeches I've given since I arrived just over a week ago, may I begin by acknowledging that we meet today in the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people, and may I thus pay my respect to their elders, both past and present. The Irish nation stretches far beyond the boundaries of our small island state and it regularly, indeed and with authenticity, I say that there have always been more people abroad than at home in Ireland. <laughs> and it is the case here. Checking before I came, there are in fact actually 16,000 people who were born in Ireland living in Melbourne. There are 90,000 people in Australia who were born in Ireland living in different parts of Australia. There are two million people, it's just gone over two million people, I think, who suggest that they have Irish heritage. Ours is a very old relationship, the relationship between Ireland and Australia. And it's rich in the different streams, the different circumstances in which Irish people have come. It is very striking uh, that the Irish of different generations, and particularly the Irish we met the other Sunday, and while I'm at it, may I congratulate you. Victoria winning the final of the women's football. And dignity was saved for Western Australia and the Harlem. But we won't say anything about that. But it's any event anyway. What was very interesting is we what is such a pleasure uh, to meet these young, articulate women and men. And to, when they speak about Australia, they have no hesitation in saying that we're with that they're both Australian and Australian in a way that doesn't ask them to forget for a second their Irish heritage. And as well as that, in relation to the contribution, speaking in Irish, as many people have been uh, written in, just reminded me as well that one of the reasons why I've acknowledged the first inhabitants uh, of this place, who have a culture that is 65,000 years old, means that people who respect their own culture can respect every other culture. And I want to express my deepest appreciation of all of the groups and individuals who work in this region, who promote Irish culture and who are organizing, who are organizing so many things as you live together in the shadow of each other. And I congratulate all of you for the expanded vision you have of what it means to be Irish, to live responsibly in a global community where everybody and every living person matters. Thank you.